So the reason why we are replacing them is because these are very hard and old, and they are rather flat and worn, and we're not going to get any more real reshaping out of the piano. So we decided we are going to change the hammers. So we have to select the correct hammers, and then use this beautiful form of ours to fill it out. And Jean Trudric and I must do that. So yeah, we're going to fill in all these things. It's very technical. It's not quite radical, but but then they make the exact hammers. They can. So take off the hammer, and that says eighty-one moles. So, so, so when you say two mole, you're kind of assuming that the hammer has lost two millimeters worth of um, in its in its life. Voice. And then also the reshaping of the hammer would take fault off, obviously. Yes, 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 yes. So when the hammer starts getting this flat, we kind of have to reshape the hammer, take off felt to get the strike point as as accurate as we can, as good yeah, as we yeah. can. Because the strike point on the on the um, the string is key. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this obviously striking, it, it's, it's important. So, so hammers that are played generally in the middle get more wear, yeah. so they will be smaller than they should be. Yes. And then of course the last hammers get hardly any wear. And then we do the same. All of that, if you try and do this by hand with the drill press or even a quasi jig that you can make yourself it, it invariably ends up the borehole being too big and then you have this angle this angle here when you are trying to uh, re-glue them and they get wobbly the bore length is from the very middle of the bore which you just measure on the shank to the top of the hammer and then you wonder why is the bore length so important because this hammer when it strikes according to manufacturer should strike at 90 degrees to the string so what happens is once it's reshaped and you've lost one or two moles, it means that that hammer moves, moves more and you end up striking like that as opposed to striking like that. So they've got to take the account in that we are putting in an extra three moles onto the hammer. And the reason for that angle is that the strings are angled inside the piano. So they want it pretty much to strike as best they can on the, uh, on the um, hammer face. So we have a lacquer little tool given to us by Rena which measures your base angles and if you flip it over your treble angles which is very clever so this is impregnating and what that is is basically that is hammer dope and dye that they put in and they strengthen the back and the shoulders of the hammer so that it can flex so here you can see obviously the white but it's got none of that shading in it so impregnated yes sure let's have impregnated because it is exactly the same as that then underfelt this has an underfelt so we're going to do underfelt as well that's called an underfelt that's just a harder piece of felt that they put in to strengthen the core and the crown medium hard would give you it could be less yeah. of a, a voicing issue because then we can, it'll be more mellow yeah. and I've chosen the medium hard then we can choose the type of wood that this comes with this would be a beech which is a hard kind of wood I can give you options like horn beam which I wouldn't want to terribly use I, I use generally mahogany which is darker and um, then there's walnut which is a lighter wood you can have maple, which is also a darker one, and then bamboo, if you prefer. So, wood form, you can see this over here. You just choose the one that looks the best. And that's it. I think that's the whole process that we need to have filled in, and we have done so. Without too much sweat and toil, that's fantastic. The cut from here to there, the hammer cut, yeah. it's all cut in one. Yeah. And they're just... Cut them according to the boring. They'll have yeah. from 1 to 26 is your base because the angle is going to be like that. That will be the yeah. boring difference. Then from here all the way through, yeah. it'll have, these are all generally stuck together like this when you get a set of hammers. I'll show you when we get the hammers, mm -hmm. I'll take some photos and whatnot, you can check it out. So it's all that they worried about is consistency, thickness, height, how much yeah. we put on, three mils for example, all the way through to the end. 